Oh, I absolutely <laughs> Next up on the <laughs> Preparing for today's video, I did a lot of research. Seriously, I took one for the team going through over two dozen women's magazines and YouTube channels. And what did I learn? Women are very confusing. Now, you may be thinking, thank you, Captain Obvious, for that amazing observation. But wait, hold on. Even though I did find a lot of contradictory information, I did see some patterns, things that men do that women just find incredibly attractive. It seemed like across the board. An example, and this one surprised me, the backward ball cap. Me personally, I don't like the look. I think it looks immature. But I saw again and again multiple women over on Reddit, in the comment section on different articles saying that they like seeing a man in a backwards baseball cap. Another one, and this one I can get behind, wearing a bow tie undone. Apparently, there's a ton of women out there that love this look on a guy. In today's video, gents, we're talking about sexy things you do that you didn't even know were attractive. Sticking with the clothing theme, let's talk neckties. Neckties in general seem to be disappearing, but the ladies still love them. Anita, she was saying that whenever she sees a man she's attracted to and he's wearing a necktie, she wants to just grab that tie and pull him close. Jennifer wrote that she loves to see a man in a casual necktie, a knit necktie, something that screams he's got style and he chose to wear this because he just loves the look. That being said, if you have to wear a necktie for work, don't worry, there's still hope. Apparently, there's a whole subreddit of women that love the look of a man who loosens up after work. He undoes those top buttons on the dress shirt, loosens up that necktie, they absolutely love it. No surprise, boots popped on multiple lists as well, especially Western boots and work boots that look like you've worked in them, but you take good care of. You've shined, you've cleaned up. And surprisingly, belts made the list as well. I read one woman, Elaine, said she loved the sound of her husband taking the belt off before coming to bed. And speaking of coming to bed, how are things working out for you lately in the bedroom? In case you don't know the stats, gents, 52% of men will deal with erectile dysfunction at some point in their life. And let's face it, most of us guys, we're pretty bad about seeking help, especially about something that many of us find embarrassing. Well, gents, that's why I'm happy to bring you today's sponsor, Roman, because they make it easy for you to be able to talk to a healthcare professional about ED all from the comfort of your home. So the way it works is you first go to getroman.com slash armorest and you complete an online visit. The next step is to chat with a healthcare professional who will then make a diagnosis. Step three, genuine medication is then delivered to your door in a discreet unmarked package. No awkward waiting rooms, no embarrassing conversations. This is something that you can keep private and deal with the issue. And I also love the fact that you can reach out to a healthcare professional in the Roman network any time you need, which makes sense if you want to adjust your plan or if you have questions. The whole process is simple, straightforward, and discreet. Get started, gents. Use that link down in the description of today's video over at getroman.com slash RMRS. Make sure to use that link to get the best deal on the web. You're going to save $15. You're going to have a free online visit and free two-day shipping. Remember, gents, no woman finds you sexy when you don't take care of yourself. So, for your one-stop shop that deals with ED and other guy issues, check out getroman.com slash RMRS. Next up, let's talk about the things that we do in our cars that apparently just make them melt. First up on the list, there's apparently a whole group of women that love it when a man steers a car with just two fingers. They feel he's really relaxed. They like the look. I don't know. Maybe it's something with the fingers. Who knows? Next up on the list, rolling down your window, putting your elbow out, and driving with one hand. I thought this was pretty normal the way I grew up without air conditioning in the vehicles, but apparently a whole group of women find this sexy. Next up, let's talk about when you're backing up the car. This is what Leslie wrote. I love it when he's backing the car up and he puts his hand on the headrest behind you so he can turn around. Safety is so sexy. All right, Leslie, if you say so. Women also apparently like it when you can parallel park a large vehicle. Dash up wrote, Parallel parking should be number one on this list. When my husband smoothly pulls our truck into a tight spot, Oh. Now, gents, I'm just curious. Have you ever heard a woman make that noise when you parallel park? Apparently, I got to up my skills there. Now, let's talk about how they find you attractive when you flex this muscle right up here. So, Sinclair1022 wrote, I love it when he shows how smart he is without being arrogant. And let's just simply talk about reading a book in public. Apparently, there's a whole Instagram page, Hot Dudes Reading, that women salivate over just looking at these guys they find attractive that are flexing their big muscle. 
And speaking about big muscles and skills, let's talk about cooking. Again and again, I saw this one pop up and from my own experience, I know that it works. That was one of my secret weapons when I was dating a girl, just simply cook her a meal. It always ended well. Now, at this point, I want to address some of these that come, I think, with strings attached. A bit of a caveat. We've got wearing a white t-shirt, wearing a black t-shirt, wearing a tight-fitting t-shirt. Here's the thing. Those t-shirt ones, they all have something in common and that is the guy wearing them is in great shape. If you've got a thin build, a fit build, or a muscular build, you can pull off wearing a t-shirt and looking good, especially when that t-shirt is cut to fit your body. But if you're a little bit bigger around the midsection, if you're shaped like a pear, t-shirts are not going to complement your build. That's why I push so hard for you to understand how to dress for your body type. So, what shirt would I recommend for a heavier guy, a guy with a bit of weight around the midsection? I'm going to recommend a casual button down. And the great thing about this shirt, it was also on the list, especially when you roll those sleeves and you show the forearms. Seriously, apparently women go crazy for a man's forearms, especially if you take care of your arms, you've got the veins popping, they absolutely love it. I also found this little nugget right here from Margarita. She said she loves it when a man is wearing his sleeves rolled up and he puts on a watch. Yes, a win for watches. Next up, let's talk about the placement of your hands. I found quite a few out there. There was placing a hand on the small of a woman's back and guiding her to her seat. We also had placing a hand just above her knee at the bar. Now, with both of these, they were a bit controversial. You had a lot of women saying they absolutely loved it when their husband, when their partner did it, but a lot of women spoke up and they said, hey, if I don't know the guy, don't be a creep and put your hands on there trying to cop a feel. Obviously, for those last two, use common sense. Don't be putting your hands on work colleagues, putting your hands on people that you don't know very well, that you don't have a relationship with. You want to make sure that you've got permission to do this. That being said, there was a great example shared by a woman whose husband's really busy into real estate and she loves it whenever he's talking on the phone talking with the client, but he goes over and he grabs her and he pulls her close so that she knows that he's thinking about her even though he has to be on the phone with somebody else. And speaking of attention, let's talk about eye contact. Medavi936 said this, my boyfriend has the most incredible blue eyes. When we make eye contact, it warms my heart. Another woman talked about catching her boyfriend just looking at her, the soft eyes gaze. I'll catch my boyfriend looking at me with the soft look and I say teasingly, you're staring and he says, I'm gazing and then he looks away. The next minute, I'll see him looking at me again and every time it makes my heart squeeze. And let's not forget about eyewear. Sarah Haas 1516 said this, oh, when a man wears glasses, yeah, mama. Now, this one I disagree with and let me know in the comments if you got my back. Lena Maria said, every basic male loves dogs, but give me a man who loves cats and I'm in love. Listen, I like cats, but no man worth his salt loves cats over dogs. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, such as Frank. Now, what about our actions? Well, some of these are pretty easy, like running your fingers through your hair. In fact, I'll quote one woman as saying she loves it when men do it subconsciously, like while they're thinking or after working out to get the sweat off their forehead. They also love it when you're good with kids, which if you think about it, makes a lot of sense from an evolutionary perspective. They want to look for a man that's going to make for a great mate, is going to be a good father. So, what better indicator than how you are around kids? Now, gents, I know you got an opinion. Let me hear it down in the comments. Which of these are complete BS? Which of these do you agree with? Let me know down below. So, what video to watch next? How about the first 10 things a woman notices in the first 10 seconds? What are they? Find out, gents, in this video right here.